If you're printing DTF, you already know you're gonna need that white ink layer to get that color accuracy in your designs. But let me ask you, do you think you need the same amount of white ink on this shirt as you do on this one? Probably not. Happy Wednesday, Sunday, Monday, whatever day you're watching this video, Stevan here with All American Print Supply. In today's episode, we're gonna show you how to calibrate your white ink layer to maximize your ink and maximize your profits. Who likes saving money on ink? Now this video is for when you're already up and running printing. And one of the things we love about the Cadlink Digital Factory software is it gives us these options to further customize our printing experience. If we're saving ink, we're saving money. Let's throw it to the software. All right, first thing we're gonna do is head over to our print queue. And we're gonna select set maximum white ink. Let's go ahead and fix our page size. I'm gonna use the EcoFreen 13 by 19 option. Let's go ahead and select a graphic. We got this Iron Man test image we will open. Select that, click open. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and proceed to next on our set max white ink window. That's already at 100 right there, very good. Minimum should be 50, max 100, and we're gonna do increments of 10%. So once these numbers are input, let's go ahead and select print max whiting chart. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna produce six different images with varying levels of white ink. We'll give these a moment to generate here. Okay. Once everything's pending, let's go ahead and select everything, right click, we're gonna choose the rip only option. So we'll give this just a moment to complete its spooling. Okay, once that spooling is complete and it's showing status is now in holding, we're just gonna right click. Let's go down to view raw data. Click this little reminder here. Now this is not a pre-flight tool. This is really just a kind of preview of what the image is going to look at with the different levels of white. Let's go ahead and adjust our view up to 6.25. And this is mainly used for positioning and also to see where the whiting is going to print so we can make that adjustment. So let's go ahead and select films to view. This option here, deselect all. And then we're going to choose only the white channels. Go. Let's go ahead and close out of this. Now we're gonna view all colors as black, which is right here. And now we can calibrate our white to adjust our needs. Now, as we see 90 and 100 are very close, a lighter white garment may not need 100% white. You know, white tee, something like 60, 70, that can also be sufficient. So we're always gonna need white ink, obviously for some powder to work properly, and dark garments, we definitely want a thick white over print for opacity. But when you find the adjustment that you like, let's go ahead and go back. Let's say, for example, we liked 90% white, for example. We can go ahead and make that adjustment right here. Enter that in. Now we hit next, and we have the option to apply to Q apply to the current print mode. I'm gonna recommend create a new print mode. We can give it its own unique name. Got that resolution there down with the 90% white adjustment. Very good, then we'll go ahead and select finish once we've titled it how we want. And now, as we go back over here, we should see if we did this right, we have that 90%, there we go that 90% white reduction there, and we can use this for later use. Other garments may need the same amount of ink, but there it is, added to our print modes for later use. In printing as in life, there is no one definitive perfect answer to all of our questions. And test, test, test is always gonna be the very best solution for your individual work environment. We hope this video gave some insight into that process. If you have any questions on the video that we've gone over today, go ahead and leave those in the comment section down below. My name is Estevan, we are All-America Print Supply. We'll see you on the next one.